fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 19th of November 2024. I've just realised it's getting late. It's uh, early evening here. I've got to work this evening. Only an hour, but I've got to be online a bit later. So I'd better get on with the game of Sudoku. I've only just realised... Where is where does time go? Time keeps on slipping, slipping into the future, as <laughs> somebody once sang. Was it Steve Miller Band? I think it was. Fly like an eagle, I think that was. Okay, um, yeah, I'll get on with the game. Uh, but before we do that, a quick uh, chat about something that's in the news. I wonder in the long term who will eventually win out. Uh, President Lula or President Nutjob uh, <laughs> Javier Miller, Miller in uh, Argentina. The two huge uh, South American countries uh, have kind of diametrically opposing views of these governments at the moment. Of course, since they kicked out both the hideous Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro uh, in uh, Brazil, Lula has been quite outspoken on a human uh, um, platform, let's say, one that intends to improve the lot of people and his uh, absolute diametrically opposed uh, counterpart in Argentina who calls himself an anarcho-capitalist uh, is dead set against doing anything to uh, improve the lives of people uh, uh, poor people I guess although he, that's not what he says uh, of course no politician would say such a thing anyway it seems to be a long-term battle but um, Lula has uh, come around uh, has managed to persuade Argentina to uh, join eventually a plan to, uh, well, it's, I say a plan, it's more like a, just a statement to, uh, you know, do something about the world's poor and hungry people, um, which uh, Millet was uh, initially reluctant to join along with. But they have actually posed for a photo, even though they kind of had to grit their teeth and bear it. Um, but I just wonder, you know, like, of course, at the moment, I mean, one of the main reasons that both of those people are in power is because of uh, global rejection of the status quo. Uh, uh, of course, in America, you know, they got rid of the Democrats, uh, the incumbents. In the UK, they got rid of the Tories. Those are kind of opposite kind of things. But you'll notice that they were people who had been incumbents. Same thing in Brazil and in Argentina. They got they they kind of voted for the opposite to what was there. I think this is a kind of desperation from, on the part of people to try and do something. But what will happen in the longer term, you know, in five to ten years, let's say, in ten years' time, uh, will Lula, Lula's legacy still be in place or will Millet's policies, you know, have come to fruition and uh, be in place? And I just wonder what's going to happen over the long term. Of course, I hope it's Lula's. That's a personal bias. Um, but uh, I, I hate to see fascists um, on the loose. Anyway, let's get on with the game of Stoker. I did say I've got running out of time and I haven't even been looking at the grid. So let's start looking now. Okay, I see eights across and across there and up there. Give myself a first starting digit of an eight. And this is the LA Times. Sometimes this game takes quite a while as well. So I should be getting on with it, shouldn't I? Uh, let's save a bit of time, possibly save a bit of time, what do we know? Oh, that's very nice. I love it when two digits are consecutive and they <laughs> they make it easier for me to see if, we, if I'm going one after the other. We've got two, three pair there because of our two, three in these columns. So we've got a two and a three here. What does it also enable? I don't know. We've got one. Uh, four, okay, so six across here and across here will give us six in that square uh, like I said this is uh, two and three um, so we'll have one okay we've got one blocking across here so one must be in one of these squares let's just highlight it for you 
on one of those squares blocking across one blocking down there's a one I don't know. I just should just check these, shouldn't I? Just in case. So we've got two, three. We're looking for one, six, seven, eight. Okay, good job. I did check because we got one, six, and seven down here. So that's going to be an eight. Lucky that I decided to check that. And now we've got seven and eight blocking here. So this is a one, six pair there. No, we've got one and six in different columns up here. Okay, so, all right, let's uh, work our way around again, shall we? Okay, six blocking up here across there. Put six into one of these two squares blocking across. And six from down here and down here gives us six in that square. Oh dear, looking pretty tough for me. Ah, oh, I should have gone round to the and started again. I've got ones like this seen the one there so one across here or one across there there's a one and one down here or one across here and across there there is our one one down to the bottom down here there is one 
sometimes I look for the easy numbers and sometimes I stop looking for the easy numbers and there is one to still want to get. Okay, one is out of the way now. I said this was uh, two and three, didn't I? So this is going to be four and nine in those squares. Looking for three, four, nine over here. Hmm. Just looking at the time, okay. Uh, our six blocking down here puts six into one of these two squares, blocking up, six up here, six across there. There's a six. Seven blocking up here and here will give us seven in that square. Three and four block this square, three and four block this square, so we must have three and four in those squares there. And for the remain remainder of this row, we need five and eight. Now we've got the eight blocking that square, so that's going to be our five, and that's going to be our eight. We're left here with five and nine. Uh, four, nine there. Five, yeah, it seems to be about all right. Uh, so should I just look at the cross here and just in case? So this is five and nine, so I'm looking for three, uh, seven, three, seven, eight in these squares. We've got seven blocking here, seven blocking here, so there's the seven. And we'll be left with three, eight in those squares there. And... Uh, Actually, we've got three blocking across here, so there's three, and that will be our eight then. Eight to come to the bottom down here, and across, and across there, there's our eight. Eight blocking up here gives us eight in this square. The last number here is a two. seven blocks this square we need a seven in this column let's put it there let's end this column with a nine Two down here, down here, and across there. Seven across here and across there gives me seven in this square. Seven up, up and away. Seven is finished. One, seven and eight are complete. Let's have a look at the nines. Nine across here and down there. 
and so now we have nine blocking this square this square and this square so in this right hand column there's our nine nine across here across here there's our nine if you remember this was two and three so this is going to be a four and four blocking down will give us four in this square we'll be left here with five and six any help on five or six uh, yes because six blocks across here and down there that means that's a six so this can't be six that's a six there that's a five uh, nine blocking across here there's our nine I think we need a four here this is what two five can't get those yet what are we looking for over here three four five mm, not much help okay uh, Let's whiz through quickly, see if there's something still nice and easy to be grabbed. Yeah, we've got four blocking this square and four blocking this square so in this column there's a four three blocks this square here in this column we don't yet have a three let's put it in this is going to be a five um, one more number to get there that's a nine isn't it and uh, so three four not sure yet okay five blocks this square we need a five in this row let's put it there this has to be two I think and this will be three and uh, three across here gives us three in that square uh, missing digits here are what two and four so four blocking up there there's the four there's the two two down here there's the two this is a five one more number to go there what are you um, four and four blocking up here puts four into that square this will be a three three blocking oops three blocking to the bottom will give me three here this is a five still need a five there five blocks up here that will be a five last number to get nine okay so at one point I thought it was gonna to be tough but just had to see the easy number and the rest of it was quite straightforward so nothing too difficult there thanks very much for joining me I'll see you another time bye bye